Welcome everyone. Today we will discuss about JDBC. So JDBC is Java Database Connectivity. It is mainly used to connect it to the database. It provides four different drives for, drives for us which we use to do the connection. The four different uh, JDBC drivers are JDBC ODBC Bridge Driver, Native API Partly Java Driver, all Java Net Protocol driver and all Java Native Protocol driver. So this is the website that I would uh, recommend where you can go in and see in detail what are these different drivers and what is the difference between them and the advantages and disadvantages that you have right in here. Okay. So in this session, we'll be discussing how to configure uh, the JDBC into Eclipse what are the prerequisites that we need to have in order to start creating a sample program okay first we will need uh, my we will be uh, doing the JDBC connections with MySQL so we will be using MySQL workbench and MySQL connector for MySQL connector we just have to search for download MySQL connector okay and this is the website when you click, scroll down and you will find the MySQL connector. So depending on the platform, you can just select uh, MySQL connector. But here I see it's platform independent. So that's really very good. You can just go ahead and download the MySQL connector. And the next is MySQL Workbench that we need. MySQL Workbench. Okay, and then click this. And then here it's not platform independent so based on the platform you just have to download the mysql workbench i have already downloaded it so this is my mysql connector folder which has few files build files few readme files and a mysql connector jar file and then i have installed the mysql workbench so when i click mysql workbench this is how it will load file but if it is the first time it will ask you to create a user id and a password and then you can start creating your start creating schemas and tables what i did is i created two schemas in one schema i have created the table user detail tables so i have just included some information in it so let's just run and see the basic and how it looks like and execute this is my user details table okay so we have downloaded the workbench and we have downloaded the connector now in eclipse we'll see how to add it to the build part i've created a sample project right click properties it's a jar so i would say add external jar navigate to the jar and then okay and then i would say refresh Okay, so now I have included the jar in the build part. Now we are ready to start creating a sample program which we will use the type 4 driver to connect it to the data. 